Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk to you about the uh, common issue of an oversensitive head of the penis or what is also known as the glands. Now uh, this video is mostly relevant to guys that may have may have or have had some foreskin retraction is issues before and that basically the head of their penis is not used to being sort of exposed to outside conditions. Now, uh, this is something I experienced myself as an uh, adult. I um, only discovered, uh, due to my foreskin uh, retraction issue, I only discovered as an adult that my foreskin actually needs to retract. And uh, the first time it occurred to me, the um, foreskin had been push pushed or uh, fully retracted. And it was actually a very you know, surprising and also unpleasant experience. Uh, as the, the, the head or the glands had no prior experience to being exposed to outside conditions. It even felt as if the air around it was burning the uh, burning the penis, the head. So, uh, but it is important to realize that uh, it, it, you may experience these, these bad sensations when your head first starts being exposed. Uh, and, you know, you could even experience, you know, what you describe as pain. And, you know, it could feel like Oh my God, this is so bad. It's it's even damaging my head. You know, it, the, the glands have been damaged because of the pain. That's how you, you're the natural response to pain. Um, however, you know, it's uh, unless there's an additional issue of some other, you know, severe restriction issues, or the foreskin is cutting off the circulation to the head, or there's maybe some other kind of a infection. If that's not occurring. The chances are the, the the pain you're experiencing is just the fact that the heads aren't accustomed to being exposed to outside conditions. And that, that is a, obviously one of the most sensitive parts of the body. So uh, I really feel that, you know, it'd be good to get your your head to like, a, if particularly if your foreskin retraction issue is being resolved and now you can, you know, pull the foreskin back, but the head's just too sensitive. I think it's a good idea to bring it in line with a regular level of sensitivity uh, where it's occasionally exposed to, uh, you know, outside conditions. For example, uh, you know, when you urinate, you can pull your foreskin back then. Uh, uh, when you're in the shower, you want to be able to clean underneath the foreskin, clean the heads uh, without great discomfort. And honestly, you know, when you, you know, when you masturbate or during sexual encounters, you know, you don't want it to be awkwardly sensitive. Now I found in, in my personal experience, as the sensitivity of my head became what you would describe as maybe more normal for a uncircumcised guy, I actually found it to be much more comfortable. And now like, if you know, I, it's say, I'm in a sexual encounter and my, the, the, the glands of my penis brush on the sheets of the bed or something. It doesn't feel very, you know, extremely uncomfortable if my partner touches it. And also, you know, when I, when I, um, you know, masturbate, it's, you know, it's now, it feels still slightly, it's okay if I touch my head, it doesn't feel like really uncomfortable. I do, however, find that if I am masturbating and touching the head, I do still use some uh, kind of lubricant. You know, I usually use coconut oil, which is actually my preferred, uh, lubricant. So uh, my ad advised way to sort of begin to uh, uh, expose your glands to outside conditions is probably I think in the shower is a good chance where you can uh, under warm water don't use extremely hot water. Um, so you can you know begin to pull your foreskin back in in the shower and let the running water from the shower you know, touch the head, you know, even hit it directly. Um, I would advise, you know, recommend avoiding extremely high power, you know, sharp, uh, you know, shower heads there. That could create some discomfort. But if provided the shower head is, uh, you know, and the pressure is not like extremely intense or sharp and there's, uh, you know, the, the water's at a decent temperature and it's not too hot, it's unlikely that you're going to be able to cause any damage to your head or your glands. So it might, might feel very uncomfortable again, as I mentioned earlier that, you know, it feels like, hey, it's so, so awkward as could be damaged, but really it's just a matter of getting used to it. So you can, you know, also when you do pull, pull back, make sure you kind of wash it, uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, get all 
parts of the glands in the head, you know, sort of desensitize slightly, say, for example, even underneath. So you could sometimes, if you've got a detachable shower head, go from the bottom direction, or even if you don't, you can, yeah, it, when my penis is flaccid, I can sort of angle it over a bit. And uh, that will allow me to, uh, you know, it, it, you know, get the head exposed from all directions. So I don't think it's necessary to overdo anything like deliberately go out and start exposing the glands, you know, in unusual ways, like, you know, uh, dramatically trying to desensitize them. And some I've met, mentioned uh, one other guy was commenting, hey, I want to make my penis uh, the, 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 like an uncircumcised guy. So I walk around during the day with my foreskin retracted, retracted to, uh, make, make my penis like an, a, a circumcised guy. We, I really feel that's not necessary. Uh, you know, the, the, the foreskin obviously is there to cover the, the glands. So it's really only exposed most of the time when it's needed, but, you know, still, if you're at, as I mentioned earlier as well, if you're at the point where, it's very uncomfortable expose, exposing the glands. It's best to sort of bring it to a normal level of sensitivity. So if you have any more questions uh, about this uh, uh, or any previous experience in this kind of thing yourself, uh, please feel free to, to comment below. You know, maybe some people have different opinions to me, of course. These are really just only based off my own personal experiences and uh, some, uh, you know, other men I've chatted with via the forums. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm always happy to uh, you know, answer any questions and hear other people's opinions.